hitting this one, right? And so we are rolling up and down the thing. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. Down to the wrist. Up to the knuckle. And across. And let us take the ball into one hand and squeeze. And then the other. Back to the first and squeeze. And the other. And let's toss it up in the air. Can we bring ourselves? Same hand, different hand, different heights, different speeds. Crushing it. Batting it, swatting Three, two, one, on to the floor. Assess the feet. Step on the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Up to the knuckle and press on each. Roll across the middle. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and we will tell us. Rest the toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Rest again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, three of us. Repeat, pressing down three times. Up to the knuckles. Roll across. Roll into the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Rest the toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Rest again. Wiggle again. And Get the ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Twist the waist between the arms.
And we're going to do the energy grounding routine today. Hands in front of the front of the spine, going up and down as we shift weight left to right, right to left. Coming up on our toes and then back down on our heels. Bring the weight down. Hands expand. And move right into some forward steps. And then elbow towards the opposite knee. And then slap the opposite heel in front. And then behind. And then the cross step with the twist in the front. And then we'll walk or march or jog. I'm going to do the standing corset for the legs, swinging back and forth, up and down, left and right. Uh, no squats if you want to do those. I think I will. Yeah, we're going to do yoga in the earth class. Mm, we'll get going in five. Of course, you can just do it for you. Be safe. Four, three, two, one, two. Then, And thirty. Two breaths. Want to lace the fingers? Raise the hands up. Up on your toes if you can. Come on back down in, then back if you can. Back to center. Drop one hand. Bend in that direction. And come back up and drop the other hand and then right. Come back to center, interlace the fingers, drop the hands to the chest and push up. Good. 
Come on down, interlace the fingers and raise the hands back. Bring back. Please the shoulder blades raise a little bit higher. And come down and shrug. Fingertips on the shoulders and then rotate the elbows forward. And then backwards. Then the arms and tap the shoulders. Give yourself a bear hug. Squeeze. And open up and squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Another bear hug with the other arm on top. Come back and squeeze. And one more time in each direction. And then one hand behind the back, press down and in. And then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Then one arm, pull back on the fingers. Point your fingers down and pull back. Flop the wrist and keep flopping. And then rotate it in one direction. And then the other. Other hand figures up. Fingers down. Flop. Rotate one way. And then the other. Come on down and rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. Over your shoulder. Bring your hand up over the head, up the ear. Chin is up. Eyes are looking out of the corner towards the ceiling. And then bring your chin down to your collarbone and look towards the floor. And then we'll do the same thing the other way, starting with the chin up, eyes looking up. And 
extension down. Yeah, that looks good. Stay. Start by placing it inside the arch of the one foot. The other foot comes out to the side, bend it at the knee, slide down slightly, and stretch the adductors. Do the other way. Come on up. Put your foot in front of the stick. Slide down. Lift the sole. Lift the sole and shake it if you want. We're etching the hamstring. Press the sole of that foot against the stick. And then repeat on the other leg, starting with the hamstrings. And then you can. One, come on out. We're going to do Dr. Lee's routine today. So we'll start the stick across the shoulders, twisting the toes. And then, if you want, bring some steps into it slowly. And then bring the stick up overhead and go side to side. And then below the waist, side to side. And then to one side. And then the other. Come around front and paddle the path. Reverse direction. And bring the stick up to the shoulders and flop the wrist. Drop below the waist and back to the shoulders. And then lift up and down.
Stop at the shoulders, reverse the grip, and flop the wrists again. Down below. And above. And then we'll take the stick behind us on the shoulders again and just do some step ups. We're going to be doing some hip rotations later, so we'll skip that for now. Take the stick to the side and swing it behind. And then the other side. And to the middle, hold on with two hands or one or a finger or two step back. We're going to come up on our toes for the count of 15. Fourteen, fifteen, and then back on our heels for fifteen. Three, two, one, and now. All right. Um, if you want to uh, hold on to a stick or be next to a wall or a chair when you're doing these uh, kicks, but if you feel Take that up, put the stick down. We're going to start by swinging one leg forward 10 times or so. And then the other. Then we're going to swing back, keeping the knees locked. And then the other. And then we're going to go laterally. And the other one. And then we're going to come across, tap, and go back. And you put. And 
mention buckets. Well, now that's hip rotation, they only go as high as feels safe for you. And we're going to tap the same knee with the elbow on that same side. And then you can continue doing this or brush your hands at your chest and go to the opposite elbow with your knee. And 10. Ah, oh, a couple of respirated breaths. So uh, what we're doing today is some energizing breaths. I don't know what we're doing this week. Uh, 20 rapid exhales through the nose. And as you exhale, you want to feel your core contract, and it's very quick. Uh, maybe I should get a little closer. Um, very quick exhales. 20, and then a nice couple of breaths. I'll do 20 more. Couple of nice rest of the breasts and 20 more. It's very energizing uh, routine. So here we go. You ready? And last one. Yeah, now we'll rub those hands together and talk to each other. Morning, Chiba. Centering, two breaths.
And pause on that inhale or exhale, send it out. And center with two breaths. And bring down chi from above. And gather it from below. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, welcome, Mira. Have a great one. Thanks. Enjoy Thank this. Day. Nina, Bill, Shimon. Thank you, Tom. You're very welcome. Tom, I have a question. Yeah. While, while lugging my luggage, I I hurt my right shoulder. What should I do to relieve the, the pain? Time, time. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I'm afraid I I I I can't tell you. I don't know. Um, you know, it depends on what it is. Cause, cause when I when I do the exercises with you, it, it hurts. It hurts. Then I would I would not do it on that side. Okay. You know, uh, give it some time. Maybe okay. some, um, you know, Advil might help. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. We all have it. Bichaka has it. I have it. Yes. <laughs> I have it. My you left have... shoulder, you know, from moving three years ago, it has never been the same. So and it, it acts up and it, you know, gets better, gets worse. It's um, luckily it's my left shoulder, not my uh, throwing arm. <laughs> I think relief factor really does help. Wait, which says relief factor. Uh huh. That, it does. It does help. Relief factor. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm. I'm Thank gonna you. be doing. Thanks. Yep. Doing. Um, um, what am I doing? I'm doing yin yoga. Um, if anybody wants to join, you go to the floor and I'm going to put on the music and timer. Um, the mystery of life isn't a problem to solve, but a reality to experience. Frank Herbert. Right. Music. All right. Meet you on the floor in seven. We're going to be in cat position.
Oh. 